you think the Canadians can ever win the Stanley Cup with Max Pacioretty reigning the C as captain? Sure they can. I mean, uh, uh, they could win it with uh, Paul Byron winning the C. <laughs> um, but this team right now, uh, and Max and this captaincy really hasn't gone that well. Hasn't gone well in his first year, and surely this year, uh, playoffs, it hasn't gone too well. Now, during the season, they were, you know, they're a decent team. Yeah, they went for a little dip there, changed the coach, they come back. Um, they could win it. Will they? With him as captain? I'm not so sure. Max Pacioretty would probably disagree, but I think they would be doing him a favor by taking the C away from him, relieving him of those duties. Mm -hmm. I think they should just concentrate on scoring 35, 40 goals, which he's certainly capable of doing, and not have to worry about everything else, not have to worry about talking to the press, not have to worry about making judgments on his teammates, some of which have not been, you know, have not been the right things to say. Uh, you know, he's, uh, I don't think he's comfortable in the role. I, I think he was particularly uncomfortable with it last year. He grew into it a little bit this year. But still, it's not, he's not a natural leader. Mm -hmm. um, he's a guy that, you know, you want, he's not a guy to, to take the team by the, you want to see him do well. You want to see him do well. You want to see him do well. I mean, he's a great guy. Yeah. He's a, he's a wonderful person, and he's a very talented hockey player. But I think, I think that I think that extra pressure of being a captain isn't good for him. And he's a little him. bit thin-skinned as well. So sometimes having to come out and speak to the media yeah. all the time, like the captain has to do, there's certain questions that he does not like, and he kind of makes it known. <laughs> and perhaps you know, if yeah. another guy who had a little bit thicker skin would take that question and just move on from it, whereas he kind of makes a bigger situation than it needed to be. And I mean, I agree with you, Pat, in your assessment of Patriotti, but think about the season that he did have. He had a great regular season. Do you think if he wasn't the captain, I mean, he would have scored all those goals in the playoffs? I don't think so. I don't think it really would have been any different. Well, maybe not, but the thing is, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, that I think it puts, I think it probably puts a little the more pressure, pressure on him. Pressure. 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 And I don't think, you know, I, I don't think he needs it. There are some guys who can handle that. I mean, just because a guy scores a lot of goals doesn't mean he's captain material. Right. Well, just even taking the playoffs when he didn't score and someone asked him, "How is that weighing on you? And he goes, not as much as it's weighing on you. Yeah. You know, why it did you was. deflect that back? <laughs> it, obviously it does because I don't think the media reporter really cared that much. And then, it, 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 again, he, he'll come back and say, well, I led the league in shots. You yeah. know, like, and it's not about how many shots you have. It's about how many goals you score. And I know he gets frustrated with those things. And... It's a tough position to be in when you have all that pressure to be the goal scorer. Like I heard someone say the other day, can you imagine if he had a true number one sentiment, how many goals yeah. he could score? Imagine if he played with a guy like Travaris in the middle. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, he's got 35 playing with a, 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 a different cast yeah. of characters. That, yeah. you know, so you certainly got to give him credit there, but in the playoffs and all the pressure with the captaincy, uh, yeah, it wears on him. You can see it. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. Again, though, you know, you talk about, you know, you know, the centers he's playing with, but the centers, Deno managed to get him 28 shots. Yeah. I mean, he got 28 yeah. shots in the playoffs. He had, even into the second round, he was still the leader. Yeah, again, in, all, in all I'm saying goal. about that I, is I know that. a real yeah, number yeah. one sentiment that yeah, can that's, get him the puck, how yeah. dangerous he would be. Yeah. I'm not kind of, I'm not trying to take away from yeah, Deneau, yeah. Pat, at all. Yeah. Okay. Check out the full episode at HockeyInsideOut.com now.